Hi everyone, I'm back for another video. Today, let's have a look at some of the shortcuts on the Logitech K380 keyboard using it on my iPad Pro. I really love this K380 keyboard. It looks good for me personally, and the battery life seems to last forever. Well, at least I have been using it for more than three years on the original battery. And the subtle clicks are satisfying, and the shortcuts and function keys make it easy for me and makes my experience better with the iPad. The keyboard shortcuts and function keys work very similar with my K480 keyboard. As usual, Command plus H is to go to the home screen. To lock the screen or turn off the screen, use Function Command plus L. To unlock, tap any key or I use the space bar to activate Face ID and tap again to go to the home screen. Function plus tab will take you to the lock screen. Command and space bar will activate the spotlight search. I like using Spotlight Search to open apps without manually looking for it in my folders. The Spotlight Search comes in very handy not just to open apps, but to also search in the websites or files in the iPad. When you turn on Spotlight Search again, you'll notice that the last search is still there. To erase the text that's previously searched, hit the Escape key and it will clear out the search bar. If you want to do some other functions, like moving around the iPad without touching the screen, you can turn on the full keyboard access in the accessibility settings. Also from here, if you want to go to the notification center or the control center, then you need these settings turned on. As you see here, you can move around the highlighted box by using the arrow keys and spacebar to activate it. To open the folder, scroll with the arrow keys and then tap the space bar to open it. Then to get out of the folder, tab until you go into the title and hit space bar or just simply to do command H. Now to enter and exit command center, use tab C. Once you are in the command center, use the arrow keys to switch to the options. Example, to adjust the brightness, Scroll to the icon and then once it's highlighted, use the arrow up and down keys to adjust it. Same thing with the volume. To go to the notification center, use tab and N. Once you're here, again use the arrow keys to move around the notifications and use the space bar to activate it or clear it. To take a screenshot, use Command, Shift, and 3. Then you can tap on the screenshot to do the usual edit or share the screenshot. Another way to take the screenshot is to use Command, Shift, and 4. This will automatically take you to the markup screen and you can instantly edit, write on it, share, delete, and save the screenshot. When I need to do a lot of typing, I really prefer using my K380 keyboard. In fact, this is what I use the whole day when I work. And when I need to write scripts for my YouTube videos, I also like using it because of the nice, subtle, quiet typing keys. And with my new makeshift desk, the K380 keyboard is much easier to use on my iPad. The usual shortcuts like Command C to copy, Command X to cut, Command V to paste work as usual. And my favorite shortcut that makes me really productive and type faster uh, is the Shift, Control, and arrow keys to highlight the text. And that just makes it easier to move around lines or delete or copy and paste. If you use the Pages app to type Word documents, the usual shortcuts, my favorite one, which is the Control shift and arrow keys to highlight the lines, it also works. 
and here you could adjust the font size by doing command minus or command plus to increase the font size. If you are in a browser, you could switch around tabs by doing command and the number of the tab. For example, command 5 to switch to tab number 5. You could also do command R to reload the page. You could also do command plus N to open a new tab. Then from here, if you want to do a new search, command L will bring you to the search bar. And if you also want to do a private or incognito search, you could do command shift and N. Lastly, the other function keys also work well. Adjusting the volume, you could do it on the function keys on the top, as well as to mute and play and pause. So these are just some of the shortcuts I use a lot. And these are what I find useful and make me move around my iPad faster and efficient. So I hope this video has helped you and please do subscribe to my channel. We're almost at 500 subscribers. So that's it. Thanks for watching.